Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to get the database model reverse engineering from a MySQL database in a Workbench. So let's go to Workbench where we have a multiple databases. Here I have one of the database called Test, and the Test has a different tables such as Departments, Department Employee, Department Manager Employee, Salaries, and the Titles table. Now, what we would like to create, we would like to do the reverse engineering from this. A database and a create year diagram so we will go to the database tab on top of it uh, here is a database menu or tab whatever you call and then go to the reverse engineering here you are going to tell like which uh, mysql server you are going to use and it is stored connection so in our case uh, we are going to use a uh, linux uh, mysql linux um, that's uh, our connection uh, name and uh, you provide the tcp standard uh, con connecting method uh, that's the name of the host okay which port it is connecting which uh, users uh, you are using to connect to the this uh, mysql server and then uh, uh, the password so I'll have this information and once we have that information you're gonna hit next and uh, hit next again now you will be selecting a database here I'm going to select a test okay hit next and now hit next again and you can see that the importing my SQL table objects so if you want to show filter and here is the list of those tables if you want to include or exclude some something from here let's say you don't want the departments from here you can bring them here on this side so but in my case I'm gonna keep this one as it is use the plus button to exclude objects matching your wildcard such as asterisk and so you can you know select all of them with the uh, shift uh, press a shift and press all that and then press uh, the last uh, uh, table and then uh, just uh, uh, move them there with the with this arrow okay or you can use this uh, one move on the other side but in my case i would like to have all of them um, place imported objects on the diagram okay yes okay hit next and finish and you can see that uh, the EER diagram is uh, created uh, from our database um, so you can see the tables right here and uh, you can navigate if you want to move uh, over uh, move your tables up and down uh, you can have this uh, zooming facility here and uh, let's say if we want to zoom in 90% you can do that and uh, you can scroll up and down as well if you want to zoom a little bit more let's say we do uh, 150 so we can do that as well and uh, now you have a different uh, in a catalog tree you have a test tables the same tables that we had and uh, if you go to layers you're going to see those uh, uh, what foreign keys and primary keys and all that is created so you can see for the detailed information um, user types uh, doesn't really tell you anything here okay so catalog and uh, right here if you will click uh, uh, any of the table then you can see the primary key and foreign key relationships um, okay so let's uh, see if we have employee table if I click on employee so you can see that EMP ID that highlighted uh, okay and also that is highlighted in different tables wherever it is used as a foreign key so you can see that EMP ID here uh, EMP underscore number integer type and uh, that's uh, in the if you look at the department manager right here and uh, you see right here uh, and uh, you see right here so when you select one it uh, highlight the relationships as well so that's great uh, this is really quick uh, way how you can get your database uh, into the ER diagram uh, you want to print it you can print it from here or uh, make changes and uh, you can further uh, engineering uh, to create a new database from this uh, ER diagram thanks very much for watching this video and I, I will see you guys in next video